all right boys with the launch of season two has came a, a you know a few weapon balance changes you know a lot of quality of life changes and overall just a lot of positive changes to the game so i decided to make this video today going over weapons that i think you guys should try and overall the best weapons in the entire game so you guys can stay ahead of the game use the best weapons possible and uh, if you guys are grinding ranked, get a ton of SR or even just get a bunch of wins on regular uh, public matches. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to be taking uh, the best weapons and the best builds from each weapon class. I'm going to start off with snipers and work my way down to SMGs. So for the sniper rifle category, here is um, what, you know, my opinion is the best cat AMR or one-shot sniper build uh, in the game. Um, speaking on the ammo, you do want to get off of spar point rounds. As you can see, this weapon is a one-shot kill to the head no matter what. So your effective damage range is irrelevant. So you basically want to get the most bullet velocity possible. And as you can see with the spar point ammo, this used to be the meta. And as you did, it, does, it only does 15% bullet velocity increase. We take a look at high velocity we get 20 percent this is just a slight increase to bullet velocity but if we're trying to run the best of the best then this is what we're going to want to use also i did change up my suppressor on my sniper as well i used to use the xrk nightfall which does give more bullet velocity than the sonic suppressor just by a little bit you know just by two percent more but the reason I use the Sonic Suppressor over the Nightfall is the ADS penalty. If you look down the bottom right, you can see the ADS speed. This is on the XRK Nightfall, and you get a you get 700, um, 762 milliseconds of ADS time. Then we look at the Sonic Suppressor, and we get a massive decrease down to 676. You do, like I said, you do lose a little bit of bullet velocity, um, but at the same time, it's worth it because you're you're more snappy. So end game, you're able to get those quick peaks off. Um, and this is pretty much my sniper build. I use the tactical pod stock for ADS, and I use the FF um, FFS OLE laser for the aiming stability. Now, if you're mouse and key and you 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 want an even faster build, you can put on the Razor Hawk. This is going to basically boost up your ADS speed a lot more than the FFS OLE, but you don't get that you don't get that aim and idle stability which I love on my sniper. So this is what I would run. All right, taking a look at the next sniper on our list and I'm so glad that we got another sniper is this is the XRK Stalker and I this thing if we take a so if we take a look at the stats once again this actually is a one-shot kill up to its effective damage range. Like I said, before the other sniper, the Cat AMR is a one-shot kill regardless, so your effective damage range doesn't really matter. But with this, this thing is actually insane. So we have 1,300 meters per second bullet velocity. So getting two tops at long range is going to be super easy with with this weapon uh, as well as we, we're, we're also going to use the uh, the stalker light bolt so you're going to be able to rechamber much faster and with with high grain rounds the this barrel right here the fishing barrel and the sonic suppressor you're going to get a whopping 75 meters one shot kill range but then after that it's going to be a two top look at the ads speed it's snappy it feels good but the bullet velocity and the fire rate make this thing insane. So if someone's very long range. Look at this. The, the, the re-chambering speed on this is absolutely incredible. And this is definitely going to be up there with, with one of the best long range weapons in the game simply because of the velocity the velocity and the fire rate are going to just make this super just annoying to fight it's going to be such a such an annoying gun to fight you can probably take off the laser and put like a low zoom optic and use a kind of like close range mid range and it'd be super annoying to fight but that's the two snipers that I'm going to cover now we're going to move on to the ARs so 
So for the first AR on the list, this is probably going to be the best AR in the game. This is still going to be the Ram 7. I still like the Jack BFB muzzle in here. If we take a look at it in the firing range. Still very low recoil. Um, but what from what I've heard from mouse and keyboard players is they actually prefer, and I mean, you can test them both, is they actually like the Casas break. I think it feels pretty weird on controller. But it still gets the job done. But I would still run the Jack BFB uh, muzzle on here. This thing is going to be super great. It's probably going to be your best option when it comes to assault rifles. Uh, I still have a couple of other ARs to show you guys. But this is basically the build that everybody runs. And I would recommend this. If you're playing ranked and you want an AR, this is going to be your go-to. Another weapon that everybody's using is the MTZ 7.62. Now, a lot of people like to run the Jack BFB on this thing, as well as a brain heavy support grip, and just kit it for full recoil control. Um, so with this, so so with this class right here, um, I would probably run something like the the Corio uh, 2.5x on this thing. Let me just find it real quick. I should have been more prepared. But here's the build that I would run on it. I like to run the 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 suppressor, the barrel, and I like to just use the recoil stock. As you can see, this thing doesn't really have much recoil, to be honest. It's very easy to control. Um, as you can see, very easy to control, especially when the aim assist kicks in. Um, what I will say, and this is going to be a super underrated attachment, and I feel like this is either going to get banned in rank play, or... Uh, at the very high levels of ranked iridescent top 250 crimson this attachment is going to be used and i would say jump on the bandwagon right now and use this thing it is the schlager knife view i was using this on ranked a little bit uh, i'm just so low queuing. and you can actually see through smoke uh smoke grenades for this thing uh, it might not be that big of a deal right now if you guys are just starting off on ranked in, in the lower levels. Shouldn't be an issue, but when you're fighting good players and they're throwing smoke, getting smoke reses, bro, like it doesn't like it doesn't affect the recoil at all. It's still an absolute laser beam, as you can see here. A little bit of visual recoil, but overall nothing really. And this is going to be an absolute just beast of a weapon. With the thermal on it all right so this one is a personal favorite of mine i think in the later seasons as this game progresses this gun is going to get better and better and better this is the polyamut you know everybody knows everybody runs the conversion kit whatever the conversion kit's been nerfed it's still good don't get me wrong the conversion kit is still good but it has been nerfed i think this gun right here for ranked specifically is such a sleeper gun and we also still have the thermal on here too. As you can see, for some reason, the thermal on this gun is a lot less zoomed in. Which So if we just shoot it here, we get a lot less visual recoil. And because we're not using the conversion kit, we're still maintaining accuracy. It's an absolute laser beam, but we're also keeping the damage. We're not getting reduction in our damage. This thing is a heavy hitter. And with this with the thermal you're going to be able to see through the smoke and even if we put plates on these dummies look how fast this thing kills and i know this isn't really a good representation because the war zone damage values are different than the firing range damage but just having this level of accuracy long range and being able to see through smoke also, the bullet penetration on this thing is absolutely absurd. Uh, I think this gun could be a very good contender um, in Warzone rank. It's going to be one of them guns that nobody uses. Nobody's going to use this gun. Nobody's going to give it a, a chance because it's so slow. But the long-range picks that you can get with this gun, and also, like I said, the thermal, you can see through smoke. This thing is... I hold this gun pretty high on my list. And like I said, when the other guns get nerfed and the long range TTK gets lowered slightly, this thing is going to stay king in my opinion. All right, so jumping into your SMGs, we're going to take a look at the HRM. 
this is the build that I would use. Now, a lot of people before didn't run the barrel. They would kick the barrel off and, you know, put something else on, whether it be a rear grip or even the, you know, the stubby barrel or whatever. But after the recent nerfs to this gun, you are going to want the biggest barrel. If we take a look at the damage range for this weapon. It no longer has a, I think it had, I think before it had maybe a 16 meters effective damage range 13 meters by default is still great don't get me wrong but we put the barrel on we get up to 16 meters i think this is what it was by default before i think before the update it was 16 meters by default putting the barrel back on the gun basically just puts it back up to where it was uh we're gonna run l4 flash hater dr6 hand stop 50 magum folding stock Take this thing into the range, as you can see, still snappy, it's super snappy, and it also has a little, like, still snappy, and also has that 16 meters effective damage range, very little recoil, as you can see, really the targets at all ranges, very little recoil, the gun kills so fast, and I think this is probably the best sub in the game, close second in the SMG category, in my opinion, is the Ram 9. This is the brand new SMG that they just added to the game. Bro, this gun feels incredible. Kills rapidly quick. We're going to run DR, DR6 hand stop, the ZM3, whatever compensator, the DMH MN35 compensator, the Speedway V5 short, Hunker 5 stock, and the 50 mag. Take this thing into the range. This thing feels incredible. Lightning fast strafe speed. Very low visual recoil. Brother, this has to be my favorite sub in the game. Is it the best? Probably not. I think the HRM still has a little bit faster TTK than this thing. But brother, this thing feels incredible to use. And uh, the damage range isn't too bad on it. We take a look at the damage range. We, I mean, we only get 9 meters effective damage range. But the strafe on this gun... And the lack of visual recoil make it so nice to use. All right, our next weapon on the list is going to be the AMR-9. We're using the Integral Suppressor. We're going to be using the MK3 Reflector because the Iron Sights are so bad on this weapon. Buffer Tube, uh, Second Z-Axe Grip, and the 50 Mag. Take this thing into the range. This thing is a little bit hard to use, I can't lie. But it has 20 meters of effective damage range, which is super good. Nice strafe speed, nice snappy ADS speed. Like I said, a li little bit hard to use, has a little bit of recoil, but if you can control it, super nice, and even the back marker right there. A little bit hard to use at that range, but you're if you're shooting someone from 50 meters away, that's probably not going to be ideal. As you can see, it's still possible though. But, yeah. Very hard to use, but I would put this up there is probably one of the best subs in the game for rank specifically all right moving on to sniper support i wanted to throw this in here because a lot of people like to know what the best sniper support is and just like sniper support builds in my opinion this is the best sniper support in the game after the update this is going to be the amr name we're going to have sonic suppressor with high grain with these two attachments Sonic Suppressor and Hagrim, we're going to have 27 meters of effective damage range. 50 mag, of course, MK3 Reflector because the Iron Sights are pretty bad. And we're also going to throw on the Wolfhound Carbine Stock. Get a nice buff to our recoil control. Take this thing into the firing range. This thing, I mean, bro, this thing is super easy to shoot. You can see you hit that back target much better now. Pretty snappy. Very good TTK. Ridiculous effective damage range for our SMG. And as you can see, it's just incredible. It's probably the best sniper support for solos and duos. I would say give this one a shot for sure. Another great sniper support option is the WSP9. This gun also got a buff. We're using the Reckless 90 Long Barrel with the Sonic Suppressor. We're going to get 21 meters effective damage range. 50 mag. 
WSP Classic Factory stock and the MK3 reflector. This thing also amazing TTK. Absolutely phenomenal. This gun just got buffed. Still testing different sniper support builds. I don't have anything fully, you know, worked out just yet. But as you can see, great range on this thing. Great, great TTK. Like I said, this gun has 20 meters effective damage range. Which this dummy right here, the second dummy, is 25 meters. Put them down really quick. And obviously, a little bit harder to shoot 50 meters out with an SMG, but still super solid. Okay, and for our last sniper support weapon, I know a lot of people like to run the Ram 7 with their uh, with their sniper rifle. I, I love this Ram build. I think it's super nice, as you can see. As you can see, super easy to use. The iron sights, as you can see, the recoil. Sometimes in the firing range, it kind of bugs out a little bit. It actually doesn't look like this in game. But yeah, super easy to control even after the nerf. Um, pretty good mobility for being an assault rifle. Jack BFB muzzle, DR6 hand stop. The Cronin headwind long barrel, 40 mag, and the HVS 3.4 pod. Super reliable, fast TTK. And like I said, it's just overall e easy to shoot. But one thing I wanted to slip in um, to the end of this video is the perk package. A big one that got buffed is actually irradiated. Um, this one lets you take 20% less damage in the gas. And you also get a 10% movement increase. 20% people, you know, people won't know, but I've tested it. Um, it is four extra seconds in the circle, which doesn't seem like a lot, but with 10% movement speed, you can cover um, a lot of distance. Also, you can also play it up in the gas. Uh, this is something that you weren't able to do before, but while taking gas damage or any damage for that matter, you can actually still go ahead and play it up. So if you're running away from someone and you're putting plates in and they shoot you one time before you turn the corner, typically that would cancel your plate animation. But with irradiated, it doesn't matter if you get shot at, you still just continue to put plates in, which could be very helpful for outplay scenarios or whatnot. And to basically demonstrate how good this perk actually is, I have a little clip for you guys that we're going to actually take a look at right here. This was part of a solo game that I played last night after the update. And as you can see, I get hit with a nade. I get hit with a nade and there's a guy pushing towards me. And I have to make a gas play here or basically I'm going to die. But with, I I have a durable gas mask and I also have a radiated equipped. And as you can see, I'm able to get my food kill here. And I'm getting pushed by another guy who's right above me on the highway. With a radiated, I'm able to rotate so far in the gas and completely flank this guy. Also note what makes a radiated even better is that they actually nerfed the gas masks. A regular gas mask went from 13 seconds to 10 and a durable gas mask went from 24 seconds to 20. Uh, so having a radiated also kind of counteracts that. You can cover more distance in the gas. You can play it up in the gas. And with the gas mask nerf, you're going to be... You're going to be in a very good situation, even at the edge of the circle. As you can see, made the gas play, killed both enemies, and won the solo game. So I just wanted to slip this in before I ended the video to show you guys what I think is one of the best perks in the game. I'm also using this in ranked play, and it's amazing in ranked. It saved me so many times, and uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more like this in the future, comment below, subscribe, follow, whatever we do on YouTube. And yeah, catch you in the next one. Peace. All right, so I'm just going to slip this in at the end of the video. I just realized my webcam was covering the muzzle attachment after recording. Um, In the future, I will. Like I said, this is my first video back. I'm still getting everything dialed in. For the future class set of videos, I will have this sorted out. If you guys were wondering what the suppressor muzzle was on a lot of these builds, it's the VT Spiritfire Suppressor. So yeah, I hope that sums it up.